We're at home, just out walking the dogs. It's cold, it's wet and miserable. We really could do with being somewhere nice and warm and sunny. In fact, let's try my little hat trick. Oh, there we go. That's better. Hang on, we're in Egypt. I've skipped far too far ahead. That's better. We're back to day one. We're back in Athens. It's cool here, isn't it? Yeah, right at the Acropolis. It's amazing to see it in real life. We've seen it in other people's videos, but to see it in real life is just something else. It's getting progressively busier. We've seen a few cruise ships coming in, haven't we? Well, not the actual ships, but we've seen the little lollipop signs with MSC on and stuff, and big gaggles of people. So, yeah, I guess it's just going to get busier and busier as time goes on. I imagine it's a lot worse in the summer, though, so this yeah. isn't too bad. And it's overcast, so it's, yeah. not too, uh, it's not too hot at the moment. But yeah, no, it's really cool up here. We're going to go and have a little wander around and see what we can see. Um, the flight into Athens was really good, wasn't it? A little bit bumpy coming in, a little bit bumpy. Three hours and 15 minutes from Heathrow. It was just a really, really early start. So we flew in, uh, got to the hotel. Hotel's quite nice, the Ibis styles. Yeah, 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 that's and, right. Uh, 30 minute walk to here. Yeah, just down the road, there's a nice little restaurant and we went to a fantastic little uh, <laughs> a little uh, home-cooked food meal we had in that little yes. tiny restaurant. It was awesome. So we've been given a nice big piece of bread to share. And then we're gonna go into the kitchen and actually choose our food. Nero, oh. Nero, Nero. What's that? Oh, excellent. Nero, English, Nero. Nero. Nero, okay. Nero. yes. Nero. We've just been into the kitchen to choose our food. And it's literally just this like, little home kitchen. And uh, yeah, really interesting, Greek guy. Um, it started, the business started with his brother and now he's taken over doing the cooking. Um, food looks amazing. Kirsty's just dishing herself up some of the traditional Greek salad. Looks amazing. Mm. This salad is delicious. This cheese is to die for, it's lovely. So the next dish has come out. We've got some meat and potatoes there, but we're doing all right so far. We've got loads of food and it is really, really flavorful. And the last dish to add to our feast is the calamari. Come scrounging, have you? Lots of nice food smells. Sorry, mate. It's not for you. So is it beating you yet? Oh, I think it might have done. I mean, look at that huge plate of calamari that we haven't <laughs> even touched, hardly touched. I do want to make a better dent in that, actually. I'm going to have a few more pieces of that before we finish, but no, it's been delicious. It is just like going around to someone's house and having it a home-cooked home meal, yeah. isn't it? So yeah, this morning, as Kirsty said, it was about a 30 minute walk. It was actually pretty easy. It didn't even feel like 30 minutes walking to here. And went uh, quickly. it went really quickly. But yeah, before that, we had breakfast in the Ibis, and that was really nice. God, they've had loads of choice. Loads of buffet stuff. Um, Sweet stuff, croissants, yeah. cheese and ham, cooked yeah. meals. It was awesome, actually. Yeah. And uh, it was all like Greek-inspired stuff. They had the basics yeah. like scrambled egg and bacon, but there was lots of Greek-inspired kind of bits and pieces yeah. like feta cheese and uh, bits and pieces. It was nice. Goat cheese. Do you want to say bits and pieces again? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's uh, let's stop this and uh, and we'll get on. off. <laughs> That's okay. Yeah, no problem. Okay. Thanks. been up here a while now and I have to say I'm not a fan of the massive touristy places and the crowds of people but you've got to do it haven't you to come up and see yeah, somewhere like and this. I think it must have been really impressive back in the day. It must really have been. Super impressive. And it's fantastic to come up and see in real life so yeah I'm glad we did it but yeah it'll be nice to get away from the crowd so uh, I'm desperate for a drink let's go for a coffee you can get it out of here. Definitely. <laughs> Thank you.
yeah, I'll be glad to get away from here if I'm honest, as I do hate people, and uh, there are quite a few here. I think we're going to brave the next tier up but the stairs are very steep so uh, yeah let's go around a little bit further let's go up this one and we'll go up we're at the top right at the top you can't go any higher than this what a fantastic view it is though isn't it and here we are under the Olympic rings with another amazing view of the stadium. It's awesome, isn't it? It is. That was really cool. We're going to stand here for a bit longer. I think they're going to change the guard soon. I think the umbrellas might be making an appearance though. We've come across the road, literally just across the road from the hotel. We've got uh, Canarino Italian restaurant. I really like it in here. It's getting quite busy behind me, I think, isn't it? A little bit of Parmesan. It smells delicious, actually. Your pizza looks freaking amazing. <laughs> Mine's bigger. It is bigger. <laughs> Good morning. It's embarkation day. We've just checked out the hotel. We're sat in reception, waiting to get picked up by our cab driver to take us to the port. We got up fairly early again, didn't we? After a good sleep. Breakfast was really nice, actually. We really enjoyed the breakfast here. They've got a great choice of, of bits and pieces. Like I they? said yesterday, sort of like lots of Greek inspired bits and pieces, but more or less standard. Um, but yeah, looking forward to seeing what. What what, what, yeah, what delicious yeah. things they've got on Celestial. So we should be on board soon. So uh, yeah, we'll just wait for our transport and we'll, we'll see you on board, I guess. We're on board Celestial Journey. And I'll tell you what, I'm impressed so far. We're just uh, on a little bit of outside deck space all the way aft and our cabin it's just through that door and it's a really nice cabin, classed as a suite. It's just like a large balcony cabin, isn't it? Yeah, basically. But yeah, we've not seen much of the ship so far. We've only been on 10 minutes. Our luggage has already arrived. But yeah, this is going to be great. Coming out onto this little outside bit of deck space right across just from our cabin is going to be awesome. Balcony's lovely. Yeah, it's really, really impressive so far. Looking forward to it. And the sun's come out. <laughs> awesome is this going to be? Hello. 
But Kirsty's just gone off and got herself a nice load of food. Actually, that looks really nice, just a load of We've fresh salad, salad, olives and stuff. It looks great. I've just grabbed myself a cappuccino from the machine so far. But um, looking at that, I think I might have to go out and get myself something. I feel like I'm sat quite low down on this chair. Nice little uh, cubicle, though, isn't it? I really like the style of the buffet. And considering it's normally the busiest time, embarkation in the buffet, and it is lunchtime, it's not stupidly rammed. Oh my god. That is salty, beefy goodness. <laughs> it's delicious. Mm. Mm. Oh my god. The fish cake as well. This cake's lovely. That looks really proper, good. I love proper that. fishy, yeah. Very nice. Proper fishy. <laughs> fishy fish cake. Yeah. Kirsty's gone for the crumble and custard. <laughs> well, I've got myself a bit of caramel cake and a little bit of that crumble that Kirsty got, but without the custard because it smells really nice, a little bit cinnamony. That was a lovely lunch. Just grabbed another drink, I've grabbed another cappuccino from the cappuccino machine. Just coming out onto the open deck, it's a bit blowy out here, so we'll sit here for a while though, it's nice and warm. Yeah, it's definitely getting a bit breezy, isn't it? What did you think of lunch? Lunch was fantastic. It really, really was. good, really good. So I think we're going to enjoy it. I think we're going to enjoy it in there. Definitely. I'm and it takes about 30 seconds to get to the buffet from our from our cabin. I'm already getting good vibes. <laughs> so we just walked from the aft pool area there through the buffet and out into the central pool area. It's, uh, we've got a retractable roof, slightly open, because it's really warm out there now. But it's lovely, it's definitely got some Holland America vibes. Definitely, that's what I was going to say. It's got some Holland America vibes going on this ship. It has been a long time since we've done this. Proper old fashioned uh, mustard drill. That was a nice little sail away. Uh, it's about quarter past five now, and we still don't really know what we're doing for dinner. We we're, have no clue what we're doing. We're going to go to the main dining room. We just don't know what the score is with um, timings and stuff. So, so we're going to go and do a, an Andy and Kirsty investigates <laughs> <laughs> and uh, go and see what we can do for dinner before going and uh, getting showered and sorted. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's a nice evening so far. So we decided to come out for a quick drink before dinner because neither of us are all that hungry. Um, this bar might be called Mix. It looks quite nice. Nowhere's really busy. We went through the blue bar first, which looked really nice, but there's no people in there at all. So we thought we'd come out to here. Um, I think we're probably just a little early. It's only just after 6.30. Everyone's probably still getting ready and doing whatever they're doing. Um, so yeah, we're gonna have a drink here and then we're gonna go across to our restaurant uh, for some nice food. So you, you generally go for a pina colada, don't you? Yeah, well, I only have them when I'm away. <laughs> it does look like a fancy one. If I can get the... Uh, it does look pretty good, doesn't it? Oh, it is pretty good. Nice, yeah. Yeah, it's nice. And only, what was it, nine euros? I think it was nine euros. Right. So I ordered a Negroni, which this isn't. Uh, I think this is an old fashioned. It says Negroni on the receipt that he gave me, um, but uh, it's not. It's a, it's a whiskey cocktail, and I'm pretty sure it's an old fashioned. But I do like these, so, um, but yeah, they're not doing very well so far. It's our first drink, and they've already got it wrong. <laughs> So like, we'll see how we go. I'd just like to say, I'm very happy with mine. <laughs> I'm glad you are, but you can't, you can't get a pina colada wrong. There's nothing much looks like a pina colada. <laughs> I've actually got some amazing cocktails in this cocktail menu, uh, but they're really super expensive, but they're very like specialist. But they, they go up to like, I think they sort of average around sort of 20, 30 euros, but they're, uh, 
you got pictures of them here. I mean, you, you, you think, God, that's so expensive for a uh, for a cocktail, but they're like like proper fancy ones like that. The Pirates Comfort in a little treasure chest. <laughs> but that's that's like um, actually that's not too bad. That's 19 euros. That's not. There, there are some really super expensive ones um, like that one. That's 50 euros X Factor, but it comes in this like I don't know like a, a glass big glass bars type thing. Um, and uh, yeah, it's got lots of different alcohol and stuff in it, so um, I'm sure it's really, really nice. I might have to try one. I don't know. I don't know about a 50 euro one, but maybe, maybe one of the cheaper ones. So, being sweet guests, we actually get to dine in one of the smaller restaurants. This one's the Smoked Olive. Is that what they call it? Smoked Olive. Yes. Yeah. Which is literally just one deck down from our cabin. Actually, really quick to get to. I mean, the main restaurant. We went in the main restaurant for a little look earlier on the main dining room. And it looks really nice, but but yeah, this is um, this is really nice in here and a little bit smaller. So yeah, looking forward to the menu. Looks amazing. Quite a little bit chilly. <laughs> it's a little bit chilly. <laughs> I'm already checking out the desserts actually, and uh, for Clava, it's uh, a favourite of ours, isn't it? So we might go for some. Uh, we might go for some baklava after. Yeah, that looks good, doesn't it? They've got, they've actually got a, a salted Greek desserts, which includes baklava, but and other things. Right. Nice bit of red wine. We actually get wine free with our meals. Uh, we haven't got a drinks package, but being sweet guests, we actually get wine um, with all our meals um, as much as we want, I guess. Um, <laughs> so there's only a, a limited amount of wine I can drink with. Uh, with dinner, um, but I'll give it a good go. <laughs> we have bread. Let's have a look. See what we got. Wow, that looks good actually. There's a proper, proper selection going on there. Looks pretty good, huh? Are you going to eat? How, how much of how much of that bread are you going to eat <laughs> before dinner? <laughs> Longestine bisque. Longestine bisque. It smells very fishy. Yeah, that's what you want. <laughs> I'm going to try not to film myself up on bread, but it is really good. And I went for the smoked salmon or gravlax trio. So I've got three different types here. I don't know what the difference is between them, but I do like a bit of smoked salmon. Delicioso. Wow, that looks quite interesting, doesn't it? I think that's rice in there. Yeah, I think it's, it's rice. It's really tasty. And it, I don't know whether it's like a cabbage cabbage leaves it's wrapped in. That's what it tastes like. I have had a massive top up of red wine. I tell you what, this house red is delicious. Not just because it's free. I mean, it is truly very tasty, but it is just the house red or the house white. Uh, there's, uh, there, there's a beer or a couple of beers that you can have uh, free of charge while you're eating. And uh, it's juice, I think. Or, uh, so, um, but no, the, the red wine's lovely. Um, I don't know what you think of your white. Uh, shoulder of lamb with potato dumplings. Mm. It looks like there's a lot of it. <laughs> I went for the duck l'orange. It's <laughs> looking really good. So if it tastes anywhere, anywhere near as good as it looks, it's going to be delicious. Mm. Perfecto mondo. So Kirsty's going for the baklava. I'm going for the assorted Greek dessert, which includes baklava. But there's a couple of other things there as well. So we shall give that a go. That baklava looks absolutely Stunning. Stunning. <laughs> <laughs> 
That is a big slab of baklava. That is nutty, syrupy, pastry goodness. It's lovely, it's lovely. Yeah, I mean, the glass, the glass in those lenses is pretty tough, to be honest. It, uh, falling on a wooden laminate floor is not going to do it any harm. Next, the last bit of wine. Definitely feeling the effects of that now. That was quite a lot of wine I've drunk tonight. Uh, so I've got a little bit of baklava and some other bits. Looks amazing though. Very sweet, very lovely. Mm. There's a bit of live music going on in the bar over there, but Kirsty wants to go and see the ABBA show in the theatre, so I guess we're going to go and do that. That meal was amazing, wasn't it? <laughs> it was like a speciality dining. It was a special. I've come out of there as stuffed as you would be coming out of a speciality dining venue, although it's just the MDR, and I never come out of an MDR feeling as full as I do now. Although it might have had that speciality feel because the it was, was in the yeah, it, yeah it, the it, it's a nice setting, but no, the amount of food I never come out of an MDR yeah. feeling as full as I do now. Oh yeah, wow, that's a Negroni. The only word I know one hundred percent last language I promise. Κυρίες και κύριοι, καλώς σας βράδυ, καλώς ήρθατε για ακόμα ένα βράδυ εδώ μαζί μας, αν ήρθατε στην Λεμεσό, αλλά αν μπήκατε σήμερα, καλώς ήρθατε απλώς στη Celestia Journey. Well, it's a bit breezy out here, so we'll make this a quick one. It's been a really good embarkation day. Embarkation was actually a breeze, wasn't it? Pretty fast. We got dropped off by taxi from the hotel to the port in Piraeus, and uh, we were on the ship in no time at all. Ship's really quiet, actually, isn't it? It seems to be. It might just be because it's the first day. Yeah. Um, food was fantastic, dinner was amazing, it was uh, really impressive. We really like the ship, but well, we do like this sort of size of ship anyway, don't we? Yeah, it's and got it, loads of bars. Loads of bars, loads, loads of, of venues, so, but it's, uh, it does seem very, very quiet. I don't think, as, even though the ship's only small, uh, with a small complement, I don't think it's actually a capacity, it is it? No. Uh, it's a good show tonight. Um, it's, I always find it a bit weird when people are singing in, in English, but English obviously isn't their first it's language. English. It's a it's a little bit Hello <laughs> <laughs> Which is quite funny. But uh, anyway. But yeah. they were good. They were good. We're in Crete tomorrow, uh, an official excursion. So we're gonna get some 
shut eye and get up nice and early and uh, and visit Crete. Never been before, so it should be good. So we'll see you in the morning.